good evening everyone uh, it's my pleasure to welcome you all to world human sciences and management conference 2021 uh, this is uh, rudra das executive director center of adivasi research and development uh, we are proud to announce that this conference is conducted along with the uh, indian institute of management sambalpur central university of odisha koraput and ravens university Kota. Uh, I welcome our speaker for today, the respected Vice Chancellor, Professor Gaurang Chandra Nandaji, and participants across the globe through Facebook and uh, YouTube Live, and who are here to listen, uh, Professor Nanda. The broader theme of this conference is agnotological context, disciplinary practices of social sciences and policy frames. On behalf of Center for Adivasi Research and Development, I extend my profound gratitude to Professor uh, Dr. Sanjay Kumar Naik, respected Vice Chancellor Central University, uh, respected Vice Chancellor Revenge University, uh, Professor Mahadev Joyson, Director, Indian Institute of Management, and Professor Dr. Sarath Kumar Palita, Vice Chancellor Central University of Odisha. The convener of this largest virtual conference are eminent Indian historian, Professor Chandi Prasad Nanda, and eminent policy activist, writer, and philanthropist, Mr. Charudat Pani Gahiti. The main outcome of this conference is to come up with the national and international framework for the education system in future. The crux of this conference will be the use of digital technologies such as artificial intelligence, argumented reality and virtual reality that uh, is being increasingly adopted after the outbreak of COVID-19. We hope this conference will uh, uh, would help students, faculties, researchers, and all to expand their mental horizon and help uh, the education system to adopt the best in future. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, the Center for Adivasi Research and Development is a uh, leading research-oriented institute uh, uh, promoting ethnographic, empirical, and evidence-based research for engaging and addressing the challenges that 21st century globe is facing today. The prime agenda is the, uh, uh, of the institution is to come up with potential policy solutions for social change while believing in the idea of debate, dialogue, discussion, and with expertise, experiencing, and education. The institution focus on marginalized communities and uh, works for their livelihood to protect the nature, culture, language, identity in particular. The age of modernity has witnessed that change is the only constant phenomena for societal purpose to enhance knowledge. And our, our information work for them is methodical and avoid paradoxically frameworks, which is neglected uh, so many centuries from theories to become practice. Uh, our center sincerely believes in uh, the concepts of concept of social marketing, which is seriously looking for non-profit marketing and builds new social entrepreneurship for uh, a check and balance mechanism to glorify generations to come. Center for Adivasi Research and Development come to solve with the holistic approach of critical thinking in education to fill the gaps to plan accordingly for the voiceless communities for beneficiaries direct in self-reflecting global societies. Ladies and gentlemen. Uh, today, uh, we have with us a very mesmerizing uh, personality, eminent educationist of our uh, mm -hmm. country, respected uh, mm -hmm. Vice Chancellor of Netaji Subhas University of uh, uh, Netaji uh, Subhas University, Jharkhand, uh, Professor Gaurang Charan Das Mohan. Uh, mm -hmm. Professor Das, uh, sorry, Professor Gaurang Charan. Uh, Nanda Mode, sorry for mm -hmm. uh, Professor Nanda uh, is a PhD uh, in education from Utkal University, has had a professional career in teaching, research, and administration spanning over a period of uh, 40 years, 1980. He uh, worked for both school and college wing, teaching uh, students from higher secondary to postgraduate classes, elementary level teacher education to secondary level teacher education, uh, and, uh, and students as well as MPhil and PhD uh, students in education. He had worked in different uh, capacities like headmaster, ETEI, lecturer, reader in education in both government, uh, college and teacher education institutes, 
uh, such as Ravensa Autonomous College, BJB Autonomous College, Rajdhani College, and uh, A12 uh, Government uh, uh, Training College, Bolangir, uh, during his professional career uh, in the directory of uh, directory of teacher education and SCERT and the uh, OPEPA. Uh, he had uh, the uh, he had the uh, field experience of developing curriculum uh, for the state of uh, state for elementary education, uh, elementary level teacher education and higher education along with experience of teaching curriculum research and educational philosophy at the PG and MPL uh, level. Uh, Professor Nanda uh, had exposure to curriculum management activities in United Kingdom uh, when he was uh, doing a certificate course in educational planning and uh, management at the uh, Leeds. Uh, Professor Nanda was a former professor of education, Dean School of Social Sciences and Chairman Council of Deans in Ravensa University, Kotak, Odisha. He has authored 18 books in education, published 40 research articles in leading international and national journals, contributed chapters in eight edited books, and uh, Professor Nando has presented papers in more than 100 international and national level seminars, conferences, and work, one work, workshops, and deliver more than 100 invited lectures as a resource, resource person in different platforms as a, a national and state level. Professor Nando has completed nine research, research projects funded by different agencies. Uh, 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 a, a total of 15 PhD scholars have been awarded PhD under his supervision uh, from Utkal University and Ravenso University. He served uh, Utkal University, uh, he served in uh, Utkal University as a founder professor, come principal of the university department of uh, teacher education. Uh, Professor Nanda has played a significant role in institutionalizing IASES. CTES, DIETS, BRCS, and uh, CRCS in the state of Odisha. He had been a senior fellow in ICSSR from 2018 to 2020. So uh, in today's uh, symposia, Dr. Uh, Dr. Nando will be deliver his talk on educational research and new education policy. Before in inviting uh, Professor Nando, I would like to invite uh, uh, Professor Srinivasulu NS uh, to uh, give an introductory uh, remark uh, on today's topic. Thank you, uh, Rudranarayan Dash. Uh, indeed, it's a great pleasure to be part of uh, the Center for Adivasi uh, Research and Development Activities. And uh, once again, uh, welcome to one and all for today's event hosted by the Center for Adivasi Research and Development. Slowly and gradually, the center from the times of uh, organizing webinars and conferences once in fortnight, it is uh, becoming now a daily event routine for the center, whereby more or less every day, the center is now organizing one of the other seminars or webinars by drawing uh, uh, resource persons uh, from across the globe. And in this context, uh, today uh, we will be dwelling on a very important topic that concerns uh, one and all working in the field of uh, higher education, the national higher education policy. And uh, we have got uh, a very eminent personality who has, who has got a very tall experience uh, in the education administration, uh, the none other than the current vice chancellor of Netaji University, uh, Ranchi, in this regard. And as far as uh, academic institutions are concerned, since uh, higher education policy basically concerns academic institutions. The administration of academic institutions uh, will have to perhaps undergo some uh, dynamic changes as for the newly adopted uh, higher education policy, that is the national higher education policy. Of course, there are certain reservations, there are certain underpinnings, there are certain apprehensions with respect to the implementation of this policy. And especially these apprehensions, reservations are coming from those states which are not really willing to implement uh, this policy at their local or state level. 
though this policy is uh, formulated by the government of india at the end of the day it gets implemented at state level especially in state universities as for the administration of state governments and as, as i mentioned in certain parts of the country where there is uh, some apprehension with respect to the pros and cons of this uh, particular national higher education policy there are different think uh, tanks uh, that have emerged especially in terms of the kind of contribution the higher education institutions are uh, providing towards the growth of the economy of course uh, for the dynamic improvement of the society as such we have we have seen the days uh, when governments used to say that uh, higher education is of uh, no use it is an investment but no result this kinds of statements we used to hear some 20 30 years back because at that particular point of time the kind of research the kind of development that uh, higher education institutions in india would uh, would have would have, would have been very very minimal compared to the current uh, status of affairs the number of patents uh, used to be minimum the number of publications at international level used to be minimum number of phds used to be minimum number of uh, people who would clear net or state level eligibility test for for uh, you know becoming a lecturer or, or assistant professor even that used to be very minimum i'm not saying that uh, now now by increasing the number of phds or increasing number of uh, you know ugc net uh, exam uh, people who would clear these exams or are increasing universities right we are, we are actually trying to uh, reach the peak but at least uh, we are able to provide some opportunity some platform for those in- enthusiastic dynamic uh, young people to do well in their life uh, but earlier during 80s and 70s there was no platform but now with uh, uh, the, with almost 500 uh, state universities 54 uh, central universities and number of uh, iits triple iits nits iims national law universities fashion technology universities tribal universities right like that you have got about 600 uh, established public universities in this country now of course there are about uh, more than 350 private universities already so we have almost reached 1000 universities i still remember some 10 years back uh, the then uh, you know ministry for hod kapil sibal he used to say that uh, india with uh, more than 100 crores of population requires at least uh, some 5000 universities to cater to the needs of their students right there are certain reservations to uh, that kind of statements uh, you know umbrella statements made by the government of india at that particular point of time because it is not not about increasing uh, you know uh, the number of universities it's not just about increasing number of phds but it's about improving increasing the quality of your research the quality of your dissemination of knowledge how quality to your teaching is how quality to result that your research phd is actually coming out with how qualitative our teaching is also right because when we when we talk about higher education institutions universities and all it's not just about the students interest but from the faculty side from the administrator side from the research folks side also we need to have that uh, transparency and accountability so in terms of quality enhancement right in terms of quality monitoring right as long as we are not in a position to ensure quality from all the four corners it is not possible to improve the quality of uh, higher education and the research uh, which is also connected with uh, the, the higher education at uh, the ground level so such being the case uh, the today's topic research in higher education institutions and the the kind of impact that uh, national higher education policy will have i'm sure is going to provide some insights into the kind of uh, quality the kind of monitoring that uh, the higher education administrators in particular the vice chancellors would like to have in terms of uh, ensuring quality dissemination of knowledge quality teaching quality research quality education and of course quality administration as well because at the end of the day right the, it, it is the job of the administrator to inspire to increase right the quality at every level in his or her particular institutions at the same point of time it is the it is the uh, administrators uh, you know role to inspire and encourage to to ensure that their subordinates are doing well so in this regard how exactly the national higher education policy is poised to improve the quality in terms of higher education in this country is uh, is going to be uh, debated in this uh, in today's program so with this uh, brief uh, note i would like to hand over the the stage uh, back to the audiences and thanks for having me to have this brief note thank you 
Thank you, thank you, Dr. Srinivasulu. Uh, now I would like to invite uh, Professor Loknath Misraji uh, for delivery uh, introductory remark on uh, today's theme. Sir, please. Uh, good evening, all of you. Particularly, my namaskar to uh, our uh, speaker, Professor Gorang Charananda, sir. Uh, sir, namaskar and good evening to all of you. Uh, uh, today's topic is very important and interesting to listen from our eminent speaker uh, about the national education policy and uh, its uh, impact or uh, on uh, research in educational research so uh, today you see that uh, uh, the i am little bit uh, different opinion uh, on srinivasulu that uh, today's, uh, I think the quality of research is deteriorating. And uh, particularly the universities and the higher education institutions producing the uh, research or producing the PhD for the sake of a PhD and uh, to getting a degree. It has no social impact. It has no, the, if you, I, I can give you one example uh, of this uh, educational research or any kind of research, if you find in quantitative research, there is a significant, many theses, if you find there is a quant uh, significant difference and there is no significant difference. Thus, that, that is the way of they are, the PhD scholars are uh, giving uh, the result. It has no significance to the society, it has no implication to the society. So my point of view is that the quality should be improved, the quality of publications should be improved, and in this regard, the national education policy also says that uh, the transforming of the research to the quality and quantity of research in India. And so that the, the national higher education commissions and national research foundations, uh, the research foundation established is going to be established by the government of India to promote the quality of uh, research in education. That's why the national research uh, foundation says that uh, they have taken many steps already it is uh, it is already in the process and they have they will uh, this national research foundation will work with uh, icar department of atomic energy uh, dbt all these uh, funding institutions apart from these phds i am uh, telling uh, in this platform that uh, those who are conducting research projects also they are uh, they are not uh, in a, that projects outputs are not implicated in the society they are not published it and the in many research outcomes they are they are dumped in the if you go to the ICSSR, if you go to the particularly ICSR, all other things they are not implementing suppose i have conducted a research and i have not i have submitted my report but the output is zero the government is not in a position to locate the findings and to implement it in the society so the contribution of the research should be implemented in the society that is a uh, main thing so in this way we will uh, listen today's speaker he will highlight us about this uh, the implications of the educational research in the society and the implementation of uh, uh, the national education policy towards the better promotion of the our educational research thank you and thank you sir uh, giving me the opportunity to talk about uh, this educational research and little things. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, uh, Professor Mishra, for your uh, um, uh, deliberation uh, and uh, uh, your ideas and thought towards uh, the topic. Now, I would like to invite uh, Professor uh, uh, Nanda to deliver uh, uh, his talk. Over to you, sir, please. Professor Nanda, please unmute.
professor nando please uh, uh, start your talk please sir. please on mute and start Can I start now? Sir, your voice Am is breaking. Am I audible? Yes, sir. Yes. Hello. Yeah, yeah, please, yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Am I audible? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hello. Ah, uh, please, sir, continue. Okay. Am I audible now? Yes, sir. Okay. Thank you so much for your kind introduction, Rudra Babu, and uh, for giving a nice background of NEP with respect to research, and my thanks also go to Professor Loknath Misra, who has been very kind to introduce me and say something about the backdrop of the topic I am going to discuss. So, kudos to the Center for Adivasi Research and Development, CAR, led by Dr. Vikram, and uh, I am really happy, uh, delighted that uh, this card has been instrumental in enlightening students, teachers across the uh, state, why state, across the country, and across disciplines. And they are doing something on daily basis almost. So, I am honored to be a part of this organization. And uh, without wasting my time, enough has been said uh, to introduce me to the Lord and participants. Uh, I have my respect for the, uh, all my seniors present over there, all my colleagues present over there, and my students who are participating in this webinar. So to start with, uh, research in the perspective of National Education Policy 2020, I would say that uh, starting from the days of Kotri Commission, 1964-66, up to National Policy on Education, 1986, and its revised formulation in 1992. So many things have been uh, told about research. Its importance has been acknowledged, duly acknowledged. And the importance of higher education has also been acknowledged by uh, the Knowledge Commission under the chairmanship of uh, Sam Pitroda, a man from Odisha. And, uh, the comprehensive coverage of research is not found in any of the documents I have described. It's a document which gives its due place to research, particularly in the context of higher education. For the last 10 years, efforts are on to make higher education research oriented. Even in the choice based credit system, the research emphasis was also there. So let me first, uh, in brief, in very simple language, tell you what research is all about. Uh, it is just to pose a question in any field. It is just about showing a critical attitude of mind, inquisitive. Uh, investigative attitude of mind to look into a phenomenon, maybe social, maybe physical, maybe biophysical, whatever it may be. 
And to answer the question, we have to collect data. Third thing is, we have to present the answer to the question based on sound logic and factual evidence. This is in brief what research is all about. So research follows scientific method where logic is there, reasoning is there, and empirical evidence is there. When these two things are combined, and when the process is followed, then we get some knowledge. We discover some theories. Research is important because it adds to knowledge. Whatever we know, it has to be cumulative. We create knowledge through research. And the purpose of higher education to generate knowledge, to create knowledge, to advance knowledge. Research also improves the practice. Whatever we have been doing, we can do it better. Research also influences policy making and it addresses key social issues, challenges, key economic issues, key political issues. Overall, research is something that is, to, that is supposed to influence, that is supposed to improve our quality of life. That's the importance of research. Now let us analyze the status of research. India is lagging behind other countries in number of patents. Uh, let me say something about the patent. It is, it is a sort of, you can say, invention. It has to be characterized by novelty. It should be Hello, am I audible? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, okay, sorry, sorry for the interruption because of uh, network issues. I'm so sorry. Uh, actually, I am talking from Jamshedpur, therefore, there may be some network issues. So, I was talking about patents, how we are lagging behind. The concept of patent is that we invent something characterized by novelty, which is something beyond the anticipation of a lay man, common man. Uh, it is not something obvious. And finally, it is useful. Its efficacy has been proved. So, in that case, uh, the patent, it can be both a process as well as a product. We have been trailing behind compared with other countries. Let me give you some empirical data. You see, uh, in 
China is 13 lakh 81,584. It is 6,956 and 46,582% of the applications have been submitted by Hello. Okay. Okay. Is it okay? Hello. Uh, sir, please continue. Uh -huh. Okay. So, this is the status of research so far as patent is concerned. Similarly, so far as the publication is concerned, we are lagging behind compared with other countries uh, like China, USA, all these things. And our investment in research is also very poor. It is of our GDP. But this uh, for Germany, so for ja in Japan, it is uh, two point something. US two point five eight. In China, it is two percent. You see the difference. Point six nine have done. And similarly, six percent of GDP was earmarked from the days of Kotri Commission. It was also there in National Commission of Education. What is doing at that point? So, the result of which we have uh, uh, less number of researches, and out of the less number of researches we produce, research up to quality is not. Uh, it's rare. Policy document itself, less emphasis on research at most of the universities and colleges. Number one, this has been mentioned. I am quoting from policy. And there is lack of competitive peer reviewed research finding across disciplines. They have already confessed this and they want to bring some key changes. And in the higher education scenario to promote research. The first one is they say that quality of higher education with equity and inclusion that has been that has been envisaged in the mission statement. High quality higher education with focus on equity and for which they have recommended multidisciplinary universities and colleges. Multidisciplinary college, multidisciplinary university means multidisciplinary research, interdisciplinary research. But we are confined to our discipline only. So the modern trend is if we treat knowledge as holistic, as envisaged in the policy document, we have to promote multidisciplinary universe. So they are they intend to proceed towards that.
Hello. Okay. Yes, sir. Please. Okay. Yes, sir. Please. Okay. Okay. So, multidisciplinary education is also to be introduced at the undergraduate stage, and we have to move towards faculty and institutional autonomy. We have so many autonomous colleges, particularly after uh, NP eighty six, number of autonomous colleges have grown in numbers. In Odisha also. Uh, we have many autonomous colleges, uh, including non-government colleges also. So we have to do research. What is wrong with our autonomous college? Why the quality is detailed? Sir, please continue. Uh, pedagogy can be improved. How can we adopt experiential approach, problem solving approach, inquiry based approach? Uh, so, this uh, has been, uh, this has to be done through research activities. Similarly, assessment nowadays, we are doing online examination, online assessment. Uh, therefore, we have to do robust research so that examination becomes reliable, curriculum transaction becomes meaningful for the learners, and there is a better support system in education, particularly higher education. And another change they recommend is institutional leadership. Who should be the vice chancellor? What should be the criteria for becoming a vice chancellor? What should be the criteria? Uh, to be a principal of a college, things like that. So uh, this is something and they want uh, to have a national research foundation uh, as uh, uh, said by Professor Loknath. Uh, this foundation uh, will promote outstanding peer reviewed research and they will also seed research in universities and colleges. That is what they, they plan. And another factor is governance, management. That is uh, something very important. Uh, research is also required in that field. And how to ensure accountability in higher education. Although light and tight, policy we have to do research. How can we make our uh, teachers, faculty members uh, accountable for their performance. And then we have to do research to increase the access for which uh, uh, they have talked of the socio-economically uh, background uh, groups. Uh, they are to be included and we have to separately plan higher education for disadvantaged group because their need is different. And they have also suggested for online education, open and distance learning, uh, all these things. And we have to design specific materials, learning materials for disabled learners so that we can have uh, equitable society. They have given a beautiful definition of a university. Uh, 
A university means a multidisciplinary institution of higher learning, which would offer undergraduate, graduate, and postgraduate and PhD programs of high quality teaching and research. So both teaching and research. Sometimes somebody was saying that research is linked with uh, research is not linked with teaching. Uh, there must be a symbiosis between research and teaching, which is not happening. Sometimes uh, uh, professors having PhD fail to deliver. Sometimes people without PhD, they excel. That is what happening. That's because these two things are not interlinked. And we have to think of integrating subjects. Even they have gone to the extent of saying that art subjects can be combined with science subjects, can be combined with technical subjects, engineering, mathematics, vocational courses, this integration, we are thinking, <coughs> although uh, all these things uh, are being tried out by different uh, uh, institutions on the AICT management, IITs, IIVNs, even our law universities, they are trying, uh, are reported by different vice chancellors. Then they are talking of flexible curriculum structure, with creative combination of disciplines. For all these things, whatever they are trying, is to do research. And they have classified the research in terms of research university, uh, teaching university, and degree granting autonomous colleges. So, so far as research university idea is concerned, there will be research focus. It doesn't mean that they will not be teaching. They will be teaching as well as conducting research, and their main focus will be research. Then, in similarly in teaching university, the focus will be on teaching, but the research will be done there. And for degree autonomous, degree granting autonomous college, we have to go a long way, for which we have not started planning, particularly at the state level, as somebody was pointing. We must be ready uh, to accept something. If we start uh, crying like uh, this is the funding, this is the, uh, the problem, uh, access is not there, things like that, uh, we cannot do, do anything. We'll uh, end up with uh, a big zero. So this is the classification of the university which reflects the importance they would like to place on research. And similarly, they want research orientation from the very undergraduate stage. You see, three years or four years of degree program. In Odisha, we, we, everywhere we have three years of degree program. Sometimes people criticize that the same government, they uh, threw the four-year program initiated by the university. And now they are talking of uh, four-year degree program also. Four-year degree program, so this indicates the priority of research. And this will be with multiple exit points also, something very, very new. And then completion of one year, students get a certificate. Completion of two years, they get a diploma. Competition, completion of three years, they get a bachelor's degree. Four years, then that will be a bachelor's degree. That will be degree with a rigorous research project, rigorous research project. So, four-year bachelor program with research. Sir, please on your ah, And after uh, three years of graduation, uh, post graduation. So that has been the structure of higher education and Mrs. Dean National Education Policy to Education. And they have totally uh, done away with the MPhil program, which was earlier a pre PhD program. But, but still, uh, everywhere we have been running a program, program that goes on. 
and another important thing they have suggested in higher uh, in uh, uh, national education policy to give to you is opening up model public university for holistic and multidisciplinary education at par with iits and iims this is something very interesting that is called as meru in sat multidisciplinary education under such university that will be the pace setter for university education and where we have to ensure highest global standard commended in the policy and will be a research and innovation at the higher education level we will have start up incubation centers urban centers we may have centers in frontier area of research this is this organization card is committed for research for subalterns uh, for a whole university of their life similarly we can have uh, our focus on frontier areas of research and we can think of industry academic collaboration linkage that is an area and furthermore interdisciplinary research i am proud of a subject uh, that is education where we <coughs> have an interdisciplinary curriculum where we study philosophy psychology sociology economics things like that so that type of program has to be thought, thought up and we have not started thinking in those lines and finally to have equity we have to give importance give focus on socio economically disadvantaged group scdg and there will be evidence based efforts for formulating norms and standards guidelines and for the purpose of accreditation of the institution even for assessment of uh, teacher performance that norms that standards uh, this is not this should not be a armchair policy done by the bureaucrats so research best guideline that is something which uh, is to be uh, framed and then uh, we have uh, been talking of internationalization of higher education and that is possible if you improve the quality of research at the most level so that we can become a global study destination international students can come and our students can also go to other countries for studying as per their need uh, in the process the vision is to make india the vishwa guru that is the top they have written and <coughs> for that every institution has to develop a institutional development plan that may be an autonomous college degree granting autonomous college or that may be a teaching uh university or that may be uh, your research university that institution development plan has to come up with i don't know if uh, people uh, in orisha have started thinking in terms of that we have a, a council of higher education in place and uh, they are doing something to implement uh, 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 this uh, national education policy 2020 uh, particularly government of odisha uh, the disadvantaged area vulnerable for vulnerable groups which uh, indicates uh, the focus government of odisha is giving on socio economically disadvantaged group but uh, it's not only uh, important to create model degree colleges we have to ensure that faculty members are in position the principal is in position uh, that has not been done as far as my concern so india has to become the team lead for research and innovation and enlightened knowledge society relevant for 21st century that is how uh, they have given emphasis recently a program uh, has been proposed by ugc to take up community based participatory research and uh, for which uh, this is national research foundation can help and this is an organization which seeks to monitor the quality of research uh, this institution has its own unique importance i was going through a 
project, National Research Foundation detailed project. It has been developed by uh, this uh, Science, Technology and Innovation Advisory Council Prime Minister. And uh, they have developed this project report. The, the objective is to create a research culture. Uh, they call it research ecosystem in the country. And they want to fund peer-reviewed uh, researches. Competitive funding will be there for all disciplines. So we should be equipped with research competencies. Otherwise, our projects are likely to be rejected at the higher level. So our students, our scholars, our teachers must know how to uh, prepare a project proposal. India will be playing a role uh, in key areas of national and global importance. For example, it will be a role. Requesting Bijalakshmi Behera to please uh, mute your speaker. Sir, please continue. Hello, Professor Landa, can you hear me? Hello, Dr. Jenna, please uh, contact uh, Professor Londo.
Am I audible? Vikram ji. Please, please, please continue. Vikram, am I audible? Yes, sir. Ah, audible. Yes, this sir. is the last part of my presentation. I will take only five to seven. Uh, so my observation is that we have to link it with uh, uh, our sustainable development uh, goals uh, being experimented across the globe. And Niti Aayog is there. They have some indicators. They are uh, uh, monitoring the indicators every year. So that is something implicit in national education policy. And we have to shift our research focus from disciplinary to multidisciplinary. The third suggestion may be uh, to create uh, research parks in selected places where a digital library will be there. Of course, now we have a digital library at Kharkor. And uh, we have to go for a capacity building of our mentors, I mean, guides, or research supervisors. They can actually create a research culture and they can maintain a research culture. Uh, but without the cooperation of the guide, it is not at all possible. And we have to also uh, promote this postdoctoral research. Because you see, at the PhD level, you just uh, learn what research is all about, what the process is all about. But you become, once you become mature, maybe you can have uh, quality research. Uh, we can create chairs also, also in different universities, autonomous colleges. And uh, we have to create, actually, we have to produce research that is really game-changing, that uh, generates game-changing ideas, and the research uh, which can be converted uh, to wealth. The knowledge that we generate through research, it must be uh, transformed to wealth, uh, which uh, uh, is useful for the society, for the humanity. Uh, therefore, uh, it's right to start uh, with young, catch them young. From the UG stage, we have to make students research oriented. We have to give them with research skills. That should be our goal. And then it has been rightly suggested. But so far as I am concerned, I have seen uh, in this uh, choice based credit system, this project paper will hardly implemented because there, there is a shortage of faculty, so many problems. You have to guide students individually, uh, things like that. So it could not uh, click. And finally, you have to bring uh, information and communication technology uh, for doing research. That would be very helpful. That, that is something. Research orientation uh, must go with uh, orientation to handle technology, to handle computer, things like that. So these are my suggestions. And we have to build a synergy between teaching and research, a good uh, a uh, teacher must be a good researcher and a good researcher must be a teacher. That sort of culture we have to create. Uh, we need uh, actually a uh, critical mass of people who can be engaged in research, who can promote collaborative research, they can work together so that we can produce high impact research. We can produce new theories, we can have a new process methodology, we can have new innovations in the country. And finally, whatever we produce, generate that knowledge, that must be published. The slogan has been nowadays, uh, publish or perish. And in the process, <coughs> few people have made it a commercial business. You have to pay money for your publication. So the quality of publication is checked. Sometimes some fake publications are coming up, uh, which is uh, very harmful uh, so far as quality research is concerned. And finally, I will end up uh, by saying that research supervisors have to play a major role uh, in creating a, a research ecosystem in this country. Uh, so uh, I have mainly covered what research is all about and uh, what is its utility. Thirdly, I have uh, discussed with you uh, the status of research in the context of India 
and uh, finally i have told you what is there in uh, national education policy 2020 and i have given my own suggestions so far as odisha is concerned as i know as i have experienced uh, they are doing something they have started doing something we have got a uh, proactive uh, uh, secretary there so we have uh, a proactive vice chairman there uh, at the level of uh, i mean council of higher education they are trying to do something model uh, cluster colleges are there everything has been uh, <clears throat> uh, put to a halt because of uh, this corona pandemic situation hopefully uh, this uh, pandemic uh, will not be there within one, one month and we will have a peaceful campus life again and uh, thank you very much uh, all learning participants for giving me time and for listening to me very patiently in spite of uh, interruptions because of network issues and uh, i will be happy if you will give any observation or if you seek any clarification from me thank you all any any queries any clarification my friend is nasik uh, i'm here thank you so much sir it's, thank you so much for your over. very no nah, it's okay sir sir uh, uh, anything you have to say or otherwise we are going to conclude this session sir no no if somebody is there ha ah, question sir lot of questions sir we have a lot no, of questions take from it up, outside we can we can wind no 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 sir really very wonderful deliberation from your side and you uh, we can we can be selective and, uh, 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 definitely sir now without wasting much time i would like to invite uh, dr nina das so to go for a quick comment please uh, 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 most respected yes. honorable uh, uh, my teacher uh, professor gorang chandra mm -hmm. sir uh by now vice chancellor of nitaji subhashchandravas university uh, sir pranam it is really a blessing and a blessing pranam. and honor to hear you again on this platform uh, thank you uh, director uh, vikram sir uh, for inviting me to um, uh, to enlighten about uh, my respected teachers uh, uh, deliberation Uh, obviously it was an excellent deliberation uh, on just just ask your question so that others will ask sir i, I just to uh, sir invited just to summarize to give uh, uh, what sir has presented that no, no, no. Uh, sir has presented about uh, institutional question. any people questions Uh, yes sir okay let me uh, let me conclude uh, that uh, as we all know um, nina what's your question what's your question please sir nothing sir I, how could i ask question to you sir i'm just uh, summarizing uh, i'm just giving Uh, what uh, you have presented it, it was an excellent deliberation on research and how uh, a good researcher can be a good teacher and how, how to ensure continual learning as sir has highlighted sir has also highlighted about niti ayog recommendations research parks and how to promote post doctoral research how to transform knowledge into world wealth all these things are highlighted by our esteemed sir and uh, nep 2020 outlines the vision of india's new education system and it focuses on five pillars sir has touched uh, like uh, affordability accessibility quality equity and ac accountability sir thank you very much uh, we again uh, we are encouraged by your talk sir thank you so much sir thank you thank you dr ninadas sir 
Uh, I would so like to we'll... question our colleague from Nina, and we can uh -huh. go ahead with some questions. I would like please, to please. ask her. GMA University has started working in line with NEP. Have you started doing something? Yes, sir. Hello? Uh, sir, we have applied a World Bank project and we got one World Bank project on NEP, sir. Okay, that's great. Any other observation from anybody? Sir, I listened totally your talk more than... 45 minutes and little bit uh, technical issue and technical intro. By the way, you are a fantastic researcher of our time and a great mind, sir, uh, which always encourage young minds to do research and promoting research always. Sir, what is the, uh, how to analyzing the research gap in doing multidisciplinary research? Uh, what is important? The researcher is important or research is important? Well, the, uh, the uh, research is always important. The type of question we are trying, trying to answer that is the uh, most pertinent question. And what is important is the process followed by the scientific must apply scientific method to answer, to get answer to his question. Firstly, his question should be a genuine question. It should not be obvious. Which one man, layman, will not be able to answer? For example, in, I was joking with one of my students, I said to him, I tell you the findings, he said to him, who is Please unmute, sir. Uh -huh. Am I audible? Look now. Yes. yes, yes. So what is important for us is the scientific method, the rigor of the scientific method. If we are following that, then the research is certainly going to be uh, something original, something inventive type, something innovative type. If you take it very casually in, uh, in research language, uh, research is a hard work, painstaking work. It is unhurried work. Your suspended judgment, everything is important there. Your review is there. Each and every step of research is important, provided that if the researcher has the right mindset. And if it is working on a genuine problem, and that genuine problem is important, which is to be uh, drawn from the review of scholastic literature. We people do not do that. We go to our research guide and we uh, say that, sir, give me a problem. Professor Lokanath must be giving a problem every day <laughs> to students. problem And this findings hypothesis hypothesis test they say, what are they significant? Not significant. <laughs> oh, oh, mathematics man, Hoker, he, he is saying that see, he, he, he has developed a heart rate towards this level of significance. Chalo bhai, aap qualitative research karo, Mijoram mein, kya parak patta hai? Jee, 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 jee. Chalo, chalo. Anybody with any observation? So many, so many friends are there. No, it's enough for today. Sir, greetings. Uh, greetings. Uh, our um, education department. Sir, should I ask? Education students and Revenge faculty members. Dr. B.C. Das is there. B.C. Das. Yeah, yeah. Doctor, how are you? Sir, sir. 
my my add some uh, my doctor please add something to my lecture so that enrich it yeah yeah sir sir uh, sir am, am i audible sir yes yes sir sir has highlighted many things uh, while uh, uh, delivering on nap 2020 and its policy exercises on research in higher education creation of a national research foundation research universities and so on uh, uh, my point is sir uh, sir you have also highlighted uh, what researcher has to do uh, while doing a research with potential excellence uh, yes. researcher has to consider many things uh, uh, like you have highlighted a novelty or originality contextuality and relevancy internal mm -hmm. consistency and uh, also resolvability methodological viability clarity mm -hmm. principleness conclusiveness many things you have highlighted but my question uh, sir uh, what is the uh, what is your idea about mutability uh, and uh, transformative nature of research yeah ah, that is that is why i have told you that whatever knowledge we have been able to generate through our research it must be transformed to wealth it must be productive it can be utilized for the purpose of mankind for the purpose of society for developing the quality of life our practice is hum karte hain wo agar behtar ho jaye research ki wajah se wo ho gaya kaam hamara wealth ho gaya hamare liye ठीक है ना इसी इसी इसे मैंने सरकार का नाम नहीं लिया म्यूटेबिलिटी वगैरह वगैरह क्योंकि अदर स्टूडेंट्स आर आल्सो देयर आई वाज नॉट ट्राइंग टू बी वेरी टेक्निकल बिकॉज़ दैट 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 वुड वुड कंफ्यूज द स्टूडेंट्स अदर देन रिसर्चर्स देयरफॉर डिलीबरेटली आई हैव नॉट यूज्ड दोस वर्ड्स बट व्हेन आई से दैट रिसर्च इज अ प्रोसेस रिसर्च इज आल्सो अ प्रोडक्ट when our product becomes useful for example we have produced a drug that is very useful for uh, the people uh, during this pandemic situation so we can have uh, we can uh, apply for a patent drug kaam to ho gaya wo wealth ho gaya theek hai na ye hota nahi hai aapki uskal university wale ne a plus le liya aap logo ko a mila kyun mila aapko pata hai क्योंकि हमारे पास पेटेंट नहीं था रेवन साहब इनके पास बहुत सारे पेटेंट है ठीक है ना सर सो वी हैव टू ट्रांसफॉर्म इट नॉलेज इज टू बी ट्रांसफॉर्म इनटू स्किल इनटू मीनिंगफुल प्रोडक्ट्स मीनिंगफुल प्रोसेसेस आप कोई मेथोडोलॉजी आप कहिए ना मेथोडोलॉजी न्यू मेथड यू कैन गारंटी आई कैन गारंटी द success of all my education students which was not there earlier agar hum wahi purane baatein karte rahenge to hamara research ka kya fayda hai hamare zindagi mein agar transformation na ho to research karke fayda kya hai ghar baitho ya upanishad padho vedam padho ha bhagavat padho is ko kis kaam ka hai isme isme time nikalo apna theek hai sir yes i hope you will be satisfied i also uh, uh, go way, with yeah. this i also go with this statement sir uh, okay. that uh, if the research is not uh, useful for the society then the research is not fruitful that is a meaningless mm -hmm. research to my, my, it is uh, my opinion or my uh, assumption that so we will do the research which is no, very not. useful to the society that is research <coughs> means giving new knowledge not only the copy paste or not only to some someone has done this research mm. and you will just um, give another uh, suppose this research uh, somebody has done this uh, in secondary school somebody uh, will do it in primary school so that type of research i don't want uh, from my personal perspectives oh. we want some kind of research which is very useful for the society just as you have given the uh, no, right, example sir. you have given the example the drug which is very useful in the corona period this yes. uh, covid shield and covaxin that is also a good thing that is that kind of research mm. we want 
from uh, yes. in education field also this is a science uh, that is science field that's uh, that's why they are immediately um, uh, constructing theory or uh, the products immediately available but in education or social science background uh, we will take time mm -hmm. and our uh, our research is uh, very very useful for the society uh, in, in in a direct way or in a indirect way so that type of research yes. we should orient our students or we should orient our the scholars to do such type of research which is very useful for the society and at the last uh, I, I want to say that uh, uh, being a researcher uh, he should have to devote some times and dedicated uh, towards the research otherwise uh, just like you say that uh, the students will come and say that they give a topic and uh, will uh, they have decided all these things that type of research uh, now this is not this is the time to think about this so we will think uh, in a larger perspectives that uh, uh, that that our students should be motivated towards conducting the research our students should be dedicated towards conducting the research most probably the scar is concerned the ethnographic study and the phenomenological study or the grounded theory is very uh, useful for them uh, because uh, they are doing in uh, uh, for the betterment of the tribal society so this is my opinion sir regarding this conducting this research mm, that uh, that's nice that's nice uh, complimenting of the present and uh, i think uh, the center for adivasi research and development they can play a very uh, proactive role in ameliorating the condition of the scheduled tribes there in korapur and their headquarters i believe is at korapur uh, and they can do something in fact their focus was like that earlier i don't know um, uh, that was established by one of the eminent professors from odisha history professor professor chandi prasad nanda uh, the, he the, he guides this organization i don't know if he's continuing with this organization or not but uh, they can uh, do uh, this uh, and they do research to address this uh, societal issues yes aaj bhi corrupt pe log bhagte hain andhra chale jate hain yes yes the root of development has not reached them Yes. हाँ, कुटिया में अभी पंचायत इलेक्शन नहीं होगा क्यों नहीं होगा क्यों लोग आंध्रा की तरफ भागते हैं वह वहाँ खाना पाना मेडिसिन सब मिल जाता है यहाँ पे कोई नहीं मिलता है ऐसे ना इशू identification of ah, issue is ah. very important now the researcher does not want uh, to identify the issues they want a uh, uh, ready made issues and uh, they will do conduct the research so they will go to the field they will identify the uh, issues what are the issues in the field then they will um, come to the field of research then the, the field researcher uh, can give a productive thing to us the issue is very important Sir, thank you so much. Yes, Just add add some information to you. As you rightly mentioned about Professor Chandi Prasad Nanda, he is our mentor and our lifetime uh, advisor, sir. Sir, with this note, uh, we have Professor Lakshmi Kant Misra, uh, the senior most professor of Ravenside University. He wanted to ask some question to you. Please ask, sir, directly to Professor Nanda. I know, I know. I know. Oh, sure, sure, sir. Namaste. <laughs> Uh, okay, say, I don't have the uh, so the audacity uh, <laughs> to ask you any question. No, 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 sir. I'm humble. I'm humble. You are, <laughs> you are such a great professor, huh? grand old man of Ravensa now. Uh, yeah. Visiting <laughs> faculty. <laughs> बोलिए सर कुछ ऑब्जर्वेशन है आपका बताइए आप कब तक नहीं ऑब्जर्वेशन ऑब्जर्वेशन कौन point uh, point is that uh, uh, the society in which we are living it believes in scores and marks and points mm. and the universities and the educational institutions running uh, so going for uh, 
uh, any accreditation or uh, so the any rating uh, so the or uh, uh, so the uh, everyone knows it and you know it and everyone knows it i do yes, not sir. know i know uh, I that know. Uh, the uh, data is being taxed by the uh, so the faculty by the stakeholders for the interest mm. of the institution and uh, more thing mm. is the most important thing is uh, ethics and moral part of the uh, moral part of the whole thing Mm -hmm. unless you are uh, uh, so the you are uh, morally on you are on a right track uh, we cannot uh, so the uh, expect uh, we cannot you, you, you are right sir that uh, research culture is yet to come and we people are uh, uh, busy in uh, increasing the number of phds because uh, uh, we'll get a good grade uh, in uh, this NAC. And the guides are worried that they should guide one, two, three publications so that they can uh, scale themselves up the ladder, uh, things like that. And people are worried that they need a job and PhD has been mandatory to get a job. So, therefore, I, I have told that. that uh, let us not make it a PhD producing factory. Let us have some ethics. Huh? Oh, yes. both orientation chahiye jo research supervisor loke, even those DCs, those who insist on completing this number of PhD, that number of PhD. Huh? You see, uh, that that culture is not there, and we have to uh, create that culture, that uh, ecosystem. So that I would just, uh, uh, Gorang sir, I would just uh, uh, like uh -huh. to ask you only one question, a simple question, and uh, whether this uh, NEP uh, can uh, help us to develop our society into a knowledge society, which the USA has. Uh, NEP taku ame society taku knowledge society ko convert kari peri wo ki. We don't have a reading culture. No, that 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 is that is the vision which has been stated in the policy document. It should be a knowledge society, and uh, it doesn't happen overnight, sir. We have to go step by step. We have to approach the issue in a phased manner. A limited number of PhD produce karenge, quality PhD produce karenge, isko achche se publish karenge, uh, scopus mein, aise kuch, uh, jiska impact hoga, uh, jisko log padna chahenge, not for the purpose, uh, too much degree oriented we have become, uh, because the candidate is uh, worried, the guide is worried, the institution is worried, and in the process, it becomes too much commercial, in the process, and the deterioration of quality happens. So if all the supervisors, the vice chancellors, they understand, they realize, and they are educated. We have enjoyed our time and our time is over. Now we have to think of the next generation researchers. That is what I have mentioned Absolutely. in the concluding part of my presentation. Absolutely. Sir. So very nice to listen to you. Uh, very nice to see you, sir. <laughs> Namaste. <laughs> Thank you so much, sir. Thank you so much. Uh -huh. uh, please sir, uh, very please the enjoy part. your family life. I wish you all the best. Have good health and good spirit as usual. Sir, yeah. another question from Rudranandas. Uh, he will ask one question. Please, Rudra. Yes, Rudra ji, please. Uh, thank you, Rudra ji, please. Sir, my question is uh, uh, how research can brought social change without activism? Uh, that I mean, uh, how you problematize research and activism so far as uh, uh, the question of social change is concerned. 
Yes, sir. You have to be a change agent as a researcher, particularly if you are engaged in a ethnographic uh, study. You have to be. You have to do some uh, observation, and it should be of the nature of uh, participant observation. You mix with them. You try to live with them, <coughs> and you teach them how to live a better life in their own setting. So a researcher, no doubt, has to be an activist. He has to show something. He has to prove something. And this is merit of this this plant. This environment is to be protected in your own interest, in the interest of your future generation. So you have to do like this. It's awareness building, advocacy. All these things can be done by your researcher once oh. the research is over. Once the power. and therefore I have I have. Uh, suggested that your organization, the Center for Adivasi Research and Development, uh, they are doing wonderful work, and their work can be further uh, increased uh, like this. You have to be activist in Korapur, you see, and you have to focus on their life. You, you will be astonished now that a primary school teacher in Korapur is producing suppress, which is very useful. Uh, a method uh, for teaching, uh, learning young students, teaching, learning of young students. I am forgetting name, nickname Kalu. Okay, na? Many Both resource persons are there. We say that uh, they are out of just uh, people. They cannot improve. This idea, aaj bhi hai logo ki man mein. I have seen some uh, schools where community collaboration is solid. How could it happen? It didn't have happened overnight. People must have worked for that. I have seen Koraput. I have seen all the blocks of Koraput. In some patches, it is happening. But it should happen across the system, for which we have to do research, develop material. They say, na, bahut scope. Ab dekho, multilingual education ek program, Odisha government ka chal raha hai. Kya chal raha hai udar? Main ek bar gaya tha Koraput. किसी को पता नहीं था जो इंस्पेक्टर ऑफ स्कूल्स दी देन जिसको मैंने पूछा डीओ को पूछा आजकल तो वीओ हो गए हैं और डीओ हो गए इन लोगों को पता नहीं था एंड गवर्नमेंट पोस्टेड सम टीचर्स इन एमएलई स्कूल्स एंड द टीचर्स दे डिडंट हैव एनी ट्रेनिंग एंड ओरिएंटेशन राइट इन दैट केस वी कैन टेक अप द ट्रेनिंग वी कैन वी कैन Strengthen the hands of the government, provided we are given scope, of course, right? So many things can be done. So some good NGOs are also there in Koraput. They are doing wonderful work. So why why cannot we? We are a group of enlightened people, led by enlightened people. We can do we can do something. अगर हम वो research को bookish कर देंगे, theoretical कर देंगे, को बात नहीं बनेगा. रिसर्चर को कोई ट्रस्ट नहीं करेंगे जैसे लोकनाथ जी कह रहे थे हमको ट्रस्ट कमाना है पीपल शुड हैव फेथ इन इट दैट दिस जेंटलमैन इज डूइंग समथिंग दे कैन दे 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 हैव स्टार्टेड नाउ वाचिंग देयर ओन एंड जैसे ना आपकी जो एरिया है सब रायगढ़ कहो कोरापुर कहो मलकनगिरी नवरंगपुर व्हाट इज हैपनिंग इन दोस डिस्ट्रिक्ट्स I was very happy that a young girl came forward and to become the sarpanch or jilla uh, parishad. Last night I I heard the news. I have seen life in those areas. So can we can we not bring a change in the life of those people? Can we not make them smile for some time? May I, I will share an experience with you. No, no, one uh, teacher was there in Kurapur and. Uh, The then director Madhu Sudan Padi went to Koraput and asked her why the students are performing so badly in English. What are you doing? And she had a reply. She replied that these are the stupid people, sir. They cannot learn English. And director became very very furious. And there and then he uh, passed order that you transfer this lady from uh, Koraput Sadar to an interior place. ऐसे एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन का इंटरवेंशन चाहिए 
Uh, we have to build a system. We have to build synergy. We have to work together. And that will be work of this uh, National Research Foundation. They say that. They will work. The organizations should work together. Persons have to be together. Intent have to be similar. So that something will work. Government, non-government, government, private. This is a big difference. That's why we don't have a research culture. You have interest in people. You can do so many works. You can take projects. Right? This is the okay. Webinar, seminar, some activity. Join with this. There are many funds that come to the Gorapur tribal area. But it has... It is not being used. It is not being used properly. I know that. I have seen the field. I am sharing my experience, corrupt experience with you. Right? Rudraji. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Uh, sir, you I have two... No, 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 sir. I have two questions for you, sir. You rightly mentioned Rudra, about sir. Koraput, Koraput, sir. Sir, Koraput is such a very wonderful place and I always... Uh, called it one of the most ignoring side of Global South. In terms of you rightly mentioned about the higher education research and national education policy or national uh, education policy have a lot of scope and uh, very uh, brief understanding about how to do and motivate research, as like you rightly mentioned about youngsters. Sir, I, I would like to know from you, because you are a genuine educationalist from our state, Sir, do you believe 300 train rupees per day, that is the low wages of world, not in India, the low wages of the world can survive the education, particular the primary education in our state? And second, how could you relate the empirical or uh, analytical research in terms of in field participatory? You rightly mentioned about uh, participatory observator, observations. Uh, I mean to say the Methodological aspect. Sir, what kind of methodology we use in empirical studies or analytic uh, kind of research? Uh, rightly, the tour and travel, then in long-term interaction, then focus group discussions, and then uh, well, uh, the holistic approach of scient scientific uh, research towards oral narratives and interviews, long-term interviews, and how memory mappings through the ethnographical research when tribal people have a lot of very vast culture and rich heritage. How could you relate this research in uh, higher scaling or uh, in terms of uh, higher education research? So I have two questions. One is research and another is primary education. How could you answer? Well, that 300 rupees wala baat, ye to mere ko bhi thik nahi lagta hai. It's not justified. They should be, Thank you, sir. Should Thank be you. dragged to the labor court. We have a department of labor. I was in the labor court. I don't know if you know. In our hospital, the staff who do service, they don't give salary to us. Okay, right? That's right. They give a lot of salary. Because the children have come. Where do they come from? Where do they come from? Where do they come from? When they come from the children, हम बढ़ा देंगे वो लोग स्ट्राइक पे चले जाएंगे ऐसे एक सिचुएशन हुआ था रेवेंट समय मेरे साथ ठीक है ना वो सब बाहर बैठ गए हाँ चीफ फॉरेन मुर्दाबाद करके फिर मैंने एक कमिटी करके एक इकोनॉमिक्स के टीचर के रख के इनके हिसाब किताब करके जिसे स्टूडेंट्स विल नॉट बी अफेक्टेड एंड देयर लाइफ विल � so, up, up, Joe Hina, up, key, card people, they should expand them to the, go, go to the court of law. Hamko, it's not Kam Kurvate, it's not Pisha Dete, right? Sakasakte, go legal, go legal, no problem. And the second part is in that case of research, you have mentioned uh, all tools of research, uh, but you have to involve different people. Just like the man from anthropology should be there, man from sociology should be there, to study their mindset, a psychology band should be there, uh, to facilitate their education, a man from education should be there, so that it becomes a piece of collaborative research. 
and that product becomes useful and you have to observe their lifestyle what is fund observation i have already told you and you have to see them you may have a focus to discussion their lifestyle and how can that be improved and you take your time if bring a change in their lifestyle no christian and no tribal will be converted to christians no people of korabut will go away from uh, odisha to andhra aise ho to inke lifestyle mein koi change nahi inko koi puchta nahi collector baitha korabut sadar pe wo rahega udhar aapki interior mein aise hota hai na so the problem is there maobadi problem is there this that that is there life is not said there also in some parts narayan patna jao this is problem hai so do, again why they are becoming maoist because they have been tortured also right ye sab baatein to thoda sensitive baat hai hum yahan aapko share karna nahi chahenge but they have some genuine concerns genuine issues genuine problems that need to be addressed and uh, you see this, this is the example i have given you this example hey right. uh so uh yeah, i think uh, we can call it a uh, the uh, we can call it the end of the program we can wind sure, up sir. here sure sir sir before go for the Ramji. sure sir before go Hello. for the formal vote of thanks ha uh, we can sir before go for the formal vote of thanks oh, yes. thank okay. you so much for your uh, very wonderful deliberation and looking forward for future eng engagement also and please sir suggest us and advise us time to time to do motivate and stay connected with so many peoples of the globe uh, i would like to invite uh, uh, mr shravan bag to go for a formal vote of thanks hello yes please come oh, on shravan come on sir. okay uh, thank you so How much you? Sir, sir i am good sir i am good sir so happy to learn about your new assignment sir हाँ, I am humbled. Sir, sir. आना आना. तेरे वर्ताने ना कोटी, भुवनेश्वर ना सिटी. ठीक ठीक, जामसिंहपुर. अच्छा. Sir, so. जामसिंहपुर को कोटी से पे नेटवर्क इस. हाँ. Thank you, uh, director Kar. Yes, go ahead, Shravan. Well, sir, at the outset, let me to take this floor to express uh, our deep sense of gratitude on behalf of the organization, particularly. to the honorable speaker our vice chancellor and in particularly my namaskar and uh, in fact virtual namaskar here if wish i could have been there and i could have touched the feet of my reverend teacher uh, uh, my mentor uh, professor nanda sir uh, we usually say nanda sir it's uh, sometimes we feel hesitant to say professor because it gives us more pleasure to say nanda sir rather than saying any uh, sort of like prefix so uh once again thank you so much sir for accepting the invitation and uh, you know unfolding the title of the day and uh, you have very categorically shared your ideas uh your experience somehow i am fortunate enough to be a part of few of your journey uh, the experience that you shared of korapur and several other community participatory programs uh, during opepa and everything and of course the sparkling statistics on different uh, indicators and different aspects of the contemporary educational practices uh, in your talk sir you have uh, you have uh, given a very uh, you know prolific statements and some of the statements that i would uh, definitely like to quote like you have talked about promoting multidisciplinary research institutional autonomy you have talked about a very key component of improving classroom pedagogy to assessment process which of course i know that it is your uh, you know very close to heart and you have been a pioneer of uh, this particular uh, aspect of education as far as odisha is concerned and you have talked about institutional leadership of course this comes from uh, the position where you are right now and that that uh, really reflect uh, this particular thing and few other things sir that, like you have talked about the symbiosis of research and teaching uh increasing accountability and the very uh, you know important aspect of institutional development plan so the 
the point that I'm trying to make is that, sir, all these things, of course, is there in uh, the new education policy for which we all are committed as um, the torch bearer for the next generation uh, teaching learning process and education, so to say. Uh, sir, you have talked about community-based participatory research. This would be my reflection and in fact, some sort of, uh, uh, I must say, um, uh, something that where I would like you to respond sometime later on. Uh, you have talked about sir community-based participatory research and uh, a research ecosystem. Of course, you have tried to link it up with SDG and SIKI, uh, the school education quality indicators. Hello? Hello? Am I audible, no? Yes. Hello? Yes. yes. Uh, sir, is there, I guess? Uh, sir, is disconnected? No, no, okay. Sir, is here. Okay, so sir, you have talked about the school education quality indicator uh, of Niti Aayog. Uh, of course, uh, sir, you must be knowing that like, uh, last, uh, last from couple of years, I have been very keenly and closely monitoring this report. Sir, my observation is that somewhere uh, this particular report, if I say uh, of Niti Aayog, uh, since last 2019, the report has not been published and uh, this is particularly, sir, to school education. And now when we are talking about the national education policy and we are aiming at a new curriculum, so I personally uh, feel and I don't know, I mean, uh, you could supplement and you could have a uh, talk on this as well. So do you, don't you think that the Niti Aayog should spread its scope on expanding the research of this particular education to higher education as well, number one? as far as the quality education indicator is concerned. Second, sir, there are a lot of indicators which seems to be uh, static by this time. Now, when we are talking about the new curriculum, when we are talking about the new education policy, those statistics has also, th those particular indicators has also uh, to find a place in this report. Probably this will be another challenge uh, for, a, for states like Odisha, to combat because uh, with a very limited resources now, sir, we are in the race and now we are aiming at uh, altogether a different uh, forum to compete, as you all know. So, sir, how would you see that this community participatory research kind of thing can be encouraged uh, in a state like Orissa, number one? And of course, uh, you all know. Um, and sir has said that there has been uh, there are a lot of efforts in Odisha, uh, particularly to travel to promote travel education uh, in the form of multilingual education and also uh, some sort of uh, innovative programs like the quality school component, the uh, various girls incentive programs. But those are again uh, not meeting the very basic issues of access and equity and particularly from uh, from this pandemic we have learned a lesson that this is again not going to address the bigger issue rather again we have come back to the very fundamental rudimentary issues of uh, access and quality so sir how to mitigate those challenges this will be the next uh, you know challenge of course in your talk you have tried to give a sort of uh, hint to those aspects, which I'm sure that in the next days to come, the policy planners, the practitioners, and of course the activists and so civil society organizations like CARD will come up with certain uh, practical solution uh, through evidence-based -based program to address those issues. So it was wonderful, sir, to have you on the floor. And of course, uh, I, I, I know particularly, like many things that you said is not theory. That is that have come from your practice, your experience, and the reality that you have seen, you have experienced. So it is always pleasure to have you, sir, on board and to listen your experience. Again, I'm saying not knowledge; it is all about the experience, um, which has, you know, uh, set the tone for education, with which we are growing at this stage uh, and in the state. So thank you so much, sir for accepting our invitation and setting the floor and uh, taking this vote of thanks uh, uh, note ahead. I must take this opportunity once again to 
pay our sincere gratitude and thanks to our partnering organizations, our uh, IIM Sambalpur, uh, CARD, Ravensai University, Central University of Koraput for helping us to give a new direction and put forth the fundamental issues related to society and common people by organizing this event in a series way. Uh, thank you so much, all the partnering institutions. Of course, our mentors, our advisors, who have always been instrumental in helping us in selecting the topic, selecting the context, and are all uh, speakers as of now who have been very kind enough to steer this process, to steer this journey. Thank you, everyone. Our organizing team, our own uh, very members of CARD who have been taking all pain and, you know, uh, of course, pleasure as well to organize this event, which is, of course, uh, unique in its style. Last but not the least, our participants who are, are the real wealth. And thank you all the participants for your patience, listening and participation. I'm sure that with all your participation, your uh, uh, contribution, we will take this journey forward and looking forward. So with this note, once again, thank you, everyone. And once. Uh, once again, my namaskar and thank you, sir. Uh, I'm so happy to see you on this platform. I'm looking forward for you, sir, uh, at some point of time. Thank you so much, sir. Hello. Hello. Yes, yes, yes. So uh, I am done, sir. Ah, okay. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. The meeting is concluded now. And a special thanks to Professor Loknath Mishra for a long time, uh, near about two hours. Yes, which yes. Is, yes. Thank you absolutely. so much, sir. And thank you all the participants. Thank you, sir. Th thank you, Professor Mishra, sir, for really steering the process right from the beginning. Thank you, sir. Thank and you, thank sir. you, Professor Lakshmi Kanta Mishra as well, who has been spent so much time with us, sir. And it's a very warm good night to all of you. Thank you. Thank you. The thank meeting you. is concluded now. Thank you.